outrage at home and around the world following an unclassified Justice Department memo revealing the Obama administration supports drone attacks on U.S. citizens who may be working abroad with terrorists. That is exactly what happened to Charlotte man Samir Khan, who was killed in a drone strike in Yemen. It was apparently the beginning of a new government policy that has now been leaked. Primetime's Steve Crump talked to those who knew Khan about this revelation from the U.S. government. It is tonight's cover story. Are you helping recruit for Al-Qaeda? During his life, Samir Khan was elusive when dealing with the local media. But his fiery words against the government were targeted to a global audience. However, Khan's death has prompted a new government policy that affects national security. We repudiated and condemned what he was doing. Charlotte attorney Mo Libby says Khan was known as several area mosques, but it was his anti-American rants that loudly put him on the radar of the feds. I would never defend him because I would want to distance myself from that type of case. Khan's life ended violently back in September of 2011 when he was taken out by a U.S. drone in the mountains of Yemen. He wasn't the only American to die. The attack also killed Anwar al-Awlaki. Both men were reportedly in the highest circles of al-Qaeda. We are becoming like the countries that we detest. Jabril Huff of the Islamic Center of Charlotte is concerned about this latest policy of fighting terrorism. The Obama administration is justifying drone strikes on U.S. citizens based on newly leaked documents from the Justice Department. But Huff says the policy makes the government judge, jury, and execution. So many other Americans are not seeing it for the danger that it is because it's happening to someone who doesn't look like them or believe like them. The very notion of the U.S. government killing American citizens with drones brings up a whole new series of constitutional questions near the top of the list, the right to due process. You have the right to know what is being alleged against you. Ed Libby also says the challenge is finding the balance between government intelligence and civil rights. There's no question about it that this is not the end of this legal issue. Those who knew Khan before he left Charlotte did ask him to tone down his rhetoric, and now... It brings it right home. It brings it dead home. Steve Crump, WBTV On Your Side, Primetime. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney defended the attacks today, saying they are both legal and wise.